please look at my feet, but not not in a weird way, okay? Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Okay, yes, I did get bangs. Um, please be kind to me and still getting used to them. Hey, Sunshiners, Alexa Sunshine, 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny Sunday. What is up? Today's video, I am doing an updated shoe collection video because in the past couple months, I have actually been receiving quite a lot of comments asking for a shoe collection video. The last time I filmed this was, I think, at the end of 2019 or like beginning 2020. And I definitely would say my collection has definitely gone gotten bigger. I've gotten a lot more, I would say honestly, unique and different type of shoes. I would say roughly half of all the shoes that I own are thrifted. And at least for me, thrifting shoes is honestly really hard. So I do have some tips and tricks on how to thrift shoes. I also will be talking about all of my Doc Martens because since that video, I have gotten more. And I know for a lot of people, sizing with Docs is like a big kind of question. So I'll be kind of diving into that, which if you would like to see the shoes in action then make sure you subscribe right down below because I make a lot of outfit videos and obviously with those I have to have shoes to put together an outfit before we get started I did just want to say obviously I own a lot of shoes definitely more than the average person needs the main reason is because of my job which is YouTube having different types of shoes different colored shoes different styles of shoes is really great for making styling videos but it is to like inspire you to own these many shoes. The point of this video is to truly just like talk about my shoes. Hopefully this video serves as also just like information on different styles. Okay, really long intro, super sorry, but I feel like I had to say that before we kind of jumped in to the actual shoe part. <laughs> Funny enough, when I was a teenager, I was super insecure about my feet because I'm like a size nine and a half to a 10, but sometimes I can even be an 11. And I used to wear like only one pair of shoes because they made my feet look small. So it actually took me a, a long time to get into like, shoes because I was just scared to have any like attention on my feet, which now I'm like, please look at my feet, but not not in a weird way, okay? So I figured we can start with sneakers just because, I don't know, they're kind of boring to be honest. I'm not a super like sneaker person. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love a good comfy sneaker, but I'm not like overly, I guess in love with like sneaker style. Most of the sneakers I've had for a couple of years because my previous job, I would basically be on my feet for like hours and hours. So I had to wear, you know, comfy shoes, which I would say my favorite pair of sneakers are my Skechers. And in my last shoe collection video, I think I also talked about them, which these ones are a second pair because my first pair, I literally thrashed. Like I wore those things to the ground and I will probably do the same with these. They are so freaking comfy. Like I love, I love these shoes. These are always my go-to whenever I'm going to Disneyland. And there is just something about a good like white sneaker. And these are a size US 10, which I would say most of my shoes are all in a size 10, but I will be talking about like sizing with each of them. So if you have similar feet to me, which I don't have wide feet, but I don't think I have like super narrow feet. It's like somewhere in the middle. My next pair of sneakers are actually my newest like shoe purchase, which are the New Balances. These ones are the 624. And these are the first like New Balances I've ever tried before. Basically these are my workout shoes. So I don't really wear them like in a casual sense. They're really truly just for working out. I ended up getting them in a size 10 and these ones are the non wide ones. I did a workout the other day, which is more like cross training. So like squats and like weights and all that jazz. And they were so comfy, which these next shoes, I'm not gonna like spend too much time on because these are my old workout shoes, which I've had for like two years. And I mean, they've done me well. They're originally from Adidas. And I do believe I also got them in a size 10 and I don't know what style they are. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend them. Like again, they did what they needed to do, but the New Balance ones working out in those is like 
a hundred times better. I think maybe I didn't purchase the right ones for the type of workouts I do. So maybe that's why the other ones are more comfortable or maybe just because they're new. Another new pair of some sneakers that I got recently are actually thrifted from Poshmark. And these are the Buffalo London chunky sneakers. And I'm sure you're looking at this and being like, oh my gosh, these were like super popular two years ago. And I would say the style has kind of died out. And I've continued to want these. Just one day I was like, you know what? I really, really want the Buffalo London sneakers, but I want to thrift them. And when it comes to a brand like this, that is heavily like known and especially the style, so many people were wearing these two years ago that it is most likely that someone is probably selling it on like Poshmark or Depop. So I copied and pasted the exact title of the shoes and I ended up just Googling it. And from there, it'll show you, obviously you can purchase it like from the site, but it'll show you listings on eBay and Poshmark and Macari. I ended up finding these on Macari. I think the seller was selling them for like $120 and I don't have an account with Macari. I have nothing against Macari, but I was like, huh, I wonder if the seller is on Poshmark because of the amount of stuff that they had, it is very common for sellers to be selling on like multiple platforms. I ended up finding the seller on Poshmark and they did have the same listing for the shoes on there, but they were listed I think for $200. So on Macari, I could get it for 120, but then on Poshmark, they were selling it for like 200, which I'm not sure if it's because like maybe Poshmark fees are more than Macari. I ended up offering the same amount that they were originally selling it on Macari, on Poshmark and they accept it. I've only had them for about three weeks, so I haven't gotten like the most wear out of them, but I'm really excited to kind of style them. I personally love platforms. Funny enough, also with my insecurity with my feet, I also was really insecure about my height, but like nowadays I'm like, heck no, like the higher the better, especially because I was always told I was five, seven and a half, but I recently went to a new doctor and they measured me and they said I was five, six. So now I'm like, oh heck yes. Now I'm really wearing the platforms. On to a pair that I already talked about in my last shoe collection video that I continue to own, which are the Nike like platform sages, I think. Have them in a size 10. And honestly, when I first got them, I thought they were so, so comfy, but then I think I wore them to Disneyland and I realized they're not as comfy as I thought. They're definitely a lot narrower. So I think that's why, but honestly, they're great. They come in handy when I want to wear kind of like sneakers like this. Kind of the same thing are these next pair of shoes that are basically like the same style, but just don't have a platform, which these ones are originally from Everlane. Now I was gifted these, I think in 2020. I personally don't love Everlane and these are the only things that I own originally from Everlane, but I do have to say, I love these shoes so much. I don't even think they sell them anymore. They have that same like narrow style, but I can wear these for a long time and like not feel anything. They definitely are not in the greatest condition anymore because I think I even wore them when I painted my downstairs office. So there's like paint on them, but I think that's what gives them character. <laughs> Onto a classic pair of sneakers, which are the high top Converse. These are just kind of like a staple, I feel like in a lot of people's wardrobe. I do have to say, I don't wear them as often as I would like to, just because of the hassle they are to put on and off. If you guys notice, all my other sneakers have the shoelaces completely like tied because I don't untie them. I just like slip them on minus my workout shoes. So something like this, it just, it adds a little extra work. I do have them in a size nine and a half and that seems to be the perfect size for me. <laughs> oh, that's so interesting. I just realized that these Converse, these next pair of black Converse are a size nine. And I mean, they do fit me pretty perfect. These are probably my oldest pair of shoes that I own. John actually bought these for me in 2014, like the first month that we were dating and they are still going strong. Again, I don't really wear these super often just because they're a little bit more work to put on and off. Also, when I'm going for like a full black shoe, I usually opt for my boots. Whereas with sneakers, I usually then go for white sneakers, but they still have a place in my wardrobe. And also just in general, they're like sentimental reasons as well. And the last pair of sneakers are these Vans. I mainly wore them when I worked at my previous job. Nowadays, I don't really wear them, but I think they're still cute. They're still awesome. I do have them in a size nine and a half, which I think for Vans, that is kind of like my perfect size. Before we get into my like nicer, funner shoes, cause like my heels and my boots are like my favorite part of my like 
shoes. We're first going to rush through my sandals. Um, I don't like sandals. I don't love showing my toes. My big like right toe is crooked because I dislocated my toe when I was a kid. And honestly, I feel like my toes are already crooked. So it just made it super worse. The first ones I have are originally from OK Boshi. These ones I was gifted when I did a sponsorship with Target. These sandals I've had forever. These are like repurchased ones because the original ones I had like years ago, I don't know what happened to them. But these I actually do wear even during like fall and winter time when it's like, oh, I have to get something out of my car and I don't wanna like put on actual shoes. So I'll put these on. These Doc Martin Blair sandals are definitely my favorite sandals overall. Like if I'm gonna choose a pair of sandals, it's gonna be these. I truly only wear them during summertime. I got them in a size nine, which I would say the size nine is honestly perfect. I've worn them to Hawaii. I did end up getting a blister at one point because my feet were wet. And yeah, that definitely was not the greatest thing ever. These I'm categorizing as sandals because they basically are. They are originally from ASOS and and I mainly bought them because I thought about like cottagecore style, like how they would look with like my white tiered skirt. And then I have these, which I'm just gonna classify as sandals, even though they're like heeled sandals, which these are originally from the company Mark Fisher. I have them as size 10 and I mainly bought them for again, like styling videos. I don't really know how to classify this next category because it's like they're flats, but then they're platforms kind of, but they're not heels. So, which the first one are these Mary Janes by Doc Martens. They are in a size nine. In all Doc Martens, I'm a size nine. I know for some people that it can range depending on the style, which I would highly recommend if you are able to try on Doc Martens at a store, do it. Not even if you like purchase them because a lot of times you can find Doc Martens on Poshmark and Depop, but obviously knowing your size before is super, super important. So I recommend if you are curious about sizing with Doc Martens, the only advice I can give is going to a Doc Martens store, which where I live, there's no Doc Martens store. I think the closest one is in LA, which is like a two hour drive, but it definitely made a difference for me to make sure I wasn't like buying Doc Martens that weren't gonna fit anyway. And these I did end up getting on Poshmark. I think they were $90. I think it's a good price for Doc Martens that honestly are in really, really good shape. I really like them. I think they're just kind of like a nice staple. Then we have these Doc Martens, which are the quads. I think they're called like Oxford quads, which I definitely recommend going just for the quad instead of the normal sole. I don't know. They just have so much more of like a statement and I probably wear these almost every day. I love these so much. They are in a size nine and I wouldn't say that they're completely broken into, which I know I'm gonna get comments asking how to break in Doc Martens and I truly cannot tell you because most of my Doc Martens honestly have been perfect. I haven't had any issues with getting like blisters minus the Blair sandals. I would recommend if that's something that you are like scared about going into getting Doc Martens, buy them secondhand because then they're already broken into. I do own the like Doc Martens like like a wax thing that's supposed to help with that. I always just forget to use it. So all I do is wear the docks and hope for the best. I do usually wear kind of thicker socks with them. And so I think that also helps. And I wear like ankle socks that I guess they aren't ankle socks. They're these where they're like a little bit longer. So I know some people have issues with kind of like this part, like digging into their ankle. So I recommend going with socks like these. My last pair in this section are these platform loafers. It says truffle collection. Maybe they're originally from ASOS. They are in a size 841, which I think is UK sizing. They fit like, I wouldn't say the fit is amazing to be honest. They are a little bit loose. Now onto heels, which this next pair is actually perfect after the last pair, which are these like high heeled loafers. It does remind me of like, if I was a secretary, like I would wear these, which I recently thrifted them from ThreadUp. They're originally from the company Alex Marie and I have them in a size 10. And I do have to say, if you do thrift any shoes from ThreadUp, number one, I would recommend only getting the ones that are not final sale because sometimes thread up sizing specifically with shoes is a little off. When I originally thrifted these, I had gotten these really beautiful velvet black heels. I was so excited about them and they were ridiculously small. Now, I don't think there was any indication of the sizing on the actual shoe, so I can understand how that could be difficult to try to figure out what sizing it is when there is no sizing, but they were definitely a nine. And luckily because they have returns, I was able to return them. The next pair of heels are these white heels. I originally bought them 
in 2020 for my wedding or I guess like wedding, not wedding. If you've seen the video, you know, we, we just went to the courthouse. But during that time when I was thrifting wedding dresses or doing like wedding dress try-ons, I got so much heat for not having like good white heels. So I finally caved in and I do think a pair of just white comfy heels is honestly a closet essential for me. I feel like specifically with white, you can take them in two different ways. You can go more casual and you can go more dressy and especially the style. I think again, it's so easily to take either way. Whereas I feel like with enclosed white heels, they're a little bit dressier. Like you can still make them casual, but this like style is honestly perfect for me. I forgot to mention this. I have completely flat feet. Like I have no arch whatsoever. So that's why I usually go for like smaller heels. So like something like that or a platform, which I would say these are probably the highest heels that I own. I ended up getting them in the goth mystery box from Depop. And I think they are in a size 10. They are a little bit loose, but I have been wanting just like plain black heels for quite a long time. And so they do honestly work. These ones I guess could have been in like the weird loafer, like platform flat situation, but oh well. These Gingham, um, I guess they're kind of like loafer heel shoes. Uh, they are in a size 10 and these ones are originally from ASOS. They're really nice. Um, definitely mainly wear them during like springtime. I think with this kind of thing, you can really have fun with it. And especially if you're wearing a really plain outfit, going with a pattern shoe is perfect. Talking about fun heels, I have these green shoes from Intentionally Blink. This specific pair, I waited so long for because they were out of stock in my size. I have them in a size 41 and I really, really wanted some pastel shoes for quite a long time. They're honestly beautiful. I would say my only like pet peeve with them is this part. I just feel like is so short. Like I just wish it was a little bit longer. It's not that big of a deal, but I definitely noticed that when I first put them on. Going back to just plain colored, shoes. I have these shoes, which are originally from Circus NY and this style, oh my goodness, it's so freaking cute. I've wanted this type of shoe for literally such a long time. And I finally bought and I finally bite then I finally bit. I finally bit the bullet. I got them in a size 10. I love this block heel. It is so beautiful. I think it creates such a beautiful silhouette as well with anything that you style it with. I really love kind of this square toe as well. And similar to those, I have these black ones. These are by Jeffrey Campbell and I forgot what style they are. I'll have it linked in the description box, but these are in a size 10. And specifically this style is like perfect for my feet. It's like enough heel, but not too intense. And especially because then the front sole is like also kind of heightened. In the back on the ankle part, it has like an extra like fabric layer. It's like a cushion and it does make them feel more comfortable. Obviously also I didn't say this in the disclaimer, but like I didn't purchase all of these at once. All of these have been purchased in the past two years, which I think is important to say because we are now going to get into boots and it's probably my biggest section. Although a couple of them have been gifted to me, which I will say which ones those are. I am going to start with this pair of boots, which I thrifted maybe like five months ago, maybe it was sooner. I honestly don't remember, but I ended up going to a thrift store that I really don't go to. I just like randomly went in and I found these boots, which are a size nine. And I would say they are a little snug, but it's not like overly like tight. It's kind of like, okay, I can tell that these are probably a little bit tighter than what I usually go for, but they honestly work. Like my toe doesn't feel like it's being crushed to death. And they're originally from Tommy Hilfiger and they're just honestly such a beautiful, beautiful boot. Another pair of some thrifted boots are these babies, which I thrifted them a couple of years ago. I feel like this was the start of my love of like funky boots. Not saying that these are super interesting, but because of thrifting these boots, I started getting into like unif style boots and like platform boots and just like funkier, I guess you could say like alternative style type of boots. These I believe I thrifted at Goodwill. I think they were honestly like $12, either eight or $12, something like that. And I don't know, oh, they're originally from American Eagle, which is wild. Like the old American Eagle like style boots and shoes are honestly amazing. These black boots are originally from the company Aloha's, which I do have a 
couple pairs from them and all of them were sent to me for free so I was gifted them but they are really good quality and the brand works on kind of like an on-demand type of structure to help with not producing a lot of waste but these specific black boots are perfect for kind of just like a chic look i really love again that front like square toe i think it's so beautiful they had sent me a another pair which which are these purple ones that are just i mean look at how freaking cool that is they just go really good with kind of like a plain outfit and they're just really interesting okay i'm getting like really cold i just had some water and so like i'm starting to like shiver so i'm gonna put on my jacket real quick it's like actually cold enough that i can wear a jacket which is awesome the next pair of boots are these red doc martens these were i think one of my first like thrifted pair of doc martens and i love these so much i honestly don't wear them super often just because i do prefer the platform ones that i have i just feel like the platform ones are a little bit comfier but it is a sentimental reason it reminds me of the thrift trip i did i think i filmed it as well so it kind of has like that little place in my heart another pair of some funky boots that were again gifted to me from alohas are these cow print boots i mean they really like this is as much personality as you can get. I really obviously love the pattern on them. They are perfect for a colorful outfit, a basic outfit. I definitely recommend honestly anyone to own a pair of cow print boots. I feel like they were really, really popular a couple of months ago. So highly recommend checking Depop and Poshmark. I think it's definitely possible to find some secondhand. These pair of boots are originally from Public Desire. I think I got them at the beginning of 2021. I'm going to be completely honest. I was inspired by Best Dress Ashley. She has shoes that are so similar to these, but I think those ones are from Nadalto or something and they're like $600. And these ones were not $600. These are a size 10 and they are a little bit big on me. I definitely want to get some like insoles for them to help with just sometimes my foot like moves in them. So they aren't really great for wearing for long periods of time but they are so beautiful and again this style of like heel that blocky heel is just so beautiful talking about shoes that i was inspired to buy because of best dress ashley are these pair of boots that i think i when did i buy these i think last year maybe at the end of 2020 or like mid 2020 they are these lisa kind of like a square toe but a little bit of a pointed toe they're originally from dep and they are in a size nine i would say i probably could have done a size 10 they definitely not that they're like super tight but i definitely can feel because the toe is narrow that yeah i can feel my toe right at the end my only like issue with these is the laces like when you tie it it doesn't perfectly stay tied and they just like poke out and so you have to like fold them into kind of like the lip area and sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable but overall they are a beautiful shoe now these ones are um a little bit more attitude which are the unif brats boots i'm pretty sure like brat boot or i think it's brat brat boot or something like that. I originally got these from Depop, so they were used. They honestly aren't that uncomfortable. I mean, I do think I'm going to fall and like break my leg every time I wear them, but they're kind of worth it. My only issue with them is I didn't realize in the photo that on the left boot, it doesn't have the like hook like you see how the hook is there for the lace it doesn't actually have it in the description of them on depop it didn't say that it was missing that and stupid me didn't like properly look at the photos and i would say it does make it difficult sometimes to wear them because it's like you try to lace it all the way up but then that's not there and so it kind of like falls down i feel like i can find these from like joanne fabrics or like a craft store or something and like put it in there so if anyone recommends uh where i could find a little hook thing please let me know we have finally gotten to my like proper doc martin boots i honestly like now looking at them i don't i don't think i have like an insane doc martin collection or anything but it, I, I mean it is like a good amount but anyway i'm first going to talk about these doc martins which are the Jaden doc martins i've had these three or four years honestly like i'm just gonna say it if you are like trying to figure out what doc martins to buy and you can only buy one boot 
get the Jadens. They are honestly perfect. I've worn them to Disneyland multiple times. I've wore them like all around London when I went back in 2019. And these I have in a size nine. They fit me absolutely perfect. And the last time I did this video, I had the Doc Martin Jaden maxes i ended up selling them on poshmark not because i didn't love them like i truly did really love them but it didn't make sense to like own a pair of jadens and then the jaden maxes because they were basically the same shoe just one of them was a little bit higher and i have a sentimental attachment to these jadens just because i've worn them literally everywhere talking about the max collection with Doc Martin. These uh, Maxes, which are the Chelsea Maxes, I'm pretty sure it is. And I've been wanting like Chelsea boots like this for quite a long time. And I actually did have some from Doc Martens. I think John had thrifted them when we went to Portland and they were great. But for me, I just prefer like a platform, like something just like extra. And when they came out with these Max pair, I was like, okay, like these are perfect. Which actually, before I bought those, I had bought these Maxes. They are the Sinclair Maxes, and I've always wanted the Sinclair boots from Doc Martens, and when they came out with the Maxes style, I was like, okay, like, I think that's interesting. The material of the Sinclairs is that, like, softer fabric, which I would say I do prefer, like, the more, like, firm feeling of the like just normal material but i know a lot of people prefer kind of this leather when it comes to like breaking in and that kind of thing i haven't noticed a super difference but one thing i didn't realize with sinclair's is you kind of get like a two-in-one where you can actually take off the zipper and then at that point it's just like a normal like boot although i don't really like then the laces on the inside because i don't know what to do with them and so they end up like annoying my foot like inside but that's a personal problem on to the last cord cord guard cord gear category in this video which is long boots and i'm first going to start off with these that i recently thrifted from thread up i think they were only like ten dollars or something like that i went back and forth if i was going to buy them or not just because i'm not a super lover of bright red but i definitely prefer if i'm going to wear bright red it to be in a shoe form i don't really like bright red tops or bottoms or dresses but there's something about it being in a shoe that just like is so much more attractive for me to wear and having pops of color in boots is really beneficial for me when it comes to styling videos and when i wore it in my last video like it went so perfect with this like mrs claus like outfit i was putting together like with a full white outfit and then bright red boots like it is definitely a look you know for a while i wasn't really into long boots but these pair were the very first i'm pretty sure long boots that i have ever purchased maybe when i was younger i had longer boots i don't know but i definitely remember last year i think it was during fall time it was for a like thrifting fall trends video and long boots were one of the trends and i was like oh like i'm not really into long boots but let me you know for the video like try it out honestly these are such beautiful boots in general but it definitely like was a gateway and to me liking long boots and i thrifted them on thread up they're originally from nine west and they are in a size 10 i believe this pair of i guess they're like ivory like cream boots are originally from aloha's again they did gift this to me and i got them in a size 10 they are honestly amazing they're so easy like they're just kind of one of those boots where you know you're leaving and you're like oh i want like a statement boot but i don't really want to put on like too much effort you just slide these on and they're good to go i would highly recommend if you have issues with like calves not fitting in certain like long boots these are honestly perfect they have a lot of wiggle room these next five boots you're gonna look at and be like oh my gosh they look exactly the same as the nine west lawn boots and you are right but they are a little bit different they have a little bit more height to them and they have more of a circle front to them honestly there's not too much to say about them they're just some like black boots i believe they are in a size 10 which lastly we are going to end this shoe collection video with a bang you've probably been like watching it being like oh my god when is she going to talk about these shoes because these are 100 percent the shoes I get the most questions about like literally I would say every single video I post where I'm wearing them I I get questions about which are the Demonia Shaker 
100 boots. These I thrifted on Poshmark and I actually originally got inspired to like try to find these from my friend Danielle from the YouTube channel Twinelle. She had thrifted these I think from Vinted and ever since I like saw her wearing them I was like oh my god. I don't think they're everyone's like cup of tea but they definitely make a statement and they are my cup of tea and I got them in a size 10. I searched for quite a long time for them on Depop and Poshmark and I ended up getting them for $65 which I think they retail for $100. And basically I just searched Ammonia Shaker 100 platform boots on Google and tried to like find them. Although the person that was selling them spelt Demonia wrong. So actually when I was searching for them, it didn't come up because it was like the wrong spelling. And so I think I had searched then for just Shaker 100 to see what would come up and then they came up. So that's a little tip. The person may have just spelt it wrong. So try different spellings of the thing that you're trying to find. These are honestly, I have to say my favorite thrifted item of 2021 because they are surprisingly comfy. I don't know, you see that platform and you're like, oh, that's gonna be uncomfy. And maybe it's because they were secondhand that they were like broken into, but I did think I would have fallen in them because of the platform. But I mean, truly they are 100% the yeah best things ever. <laughs> Honestly, I am so pooped after filming this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me just chatting about my shoes. Yeah, if you guys would like to see my face again, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is at alexsunshine83. And I hope you guys have a super sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye.